how quiet Errol is. Yeah. Um, so as far as like fight negotiations, we always hear about you know him and Terrence Crawford and who's promotable, who's not promotable, and they're both quiet guys. So why is Errol Spence so much more appealing to everybody else and Terrence Crawford is not, man? Man, I think uh, I think the difference is you know Errol has it. He, he, I mean, EJ has it like a switch, bro. Like he turns it on. Like he's not just talking from day to day and posting, you know, outside of fight time and just randomly during the day. But when it's time to you know when it gears up and it's fight time. You know, he's going to turn it on. He's going to talk that talk. And he doesn't talk much. So when he does talk, people tune in. And, you know, he got the all-around package, man. He's a workhorse. Uh, you know, my, my dude got the image, you know, and he just handled business and the way he fights. You know what I'm saying? He kind of, you know, everybody likes the person that doesn't really brag or, or, or boast. But when he does speak, you know, he means business. And then when he gets in the ring, he doesn't talk with his mouth. He talks with his hands. So I think that's the, you know, that's the difference making. Not saying Terrence don't, you know, isn't a good fighter because he is, but. I think that's the uh, that's the difference, Michael. Yeah. But do you think if Terrence was on your on like the PBC side, you think he could have got a little bit more promotion, a little bit better, you know, yeah, recognition? For sure. I mean, if Al Heyman is anything else, bro, everybody knows he's pro black athlete. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just everybody knows Oscar is pro Mexican and Eddie Hearn is pro European. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that but, makes sense. That makes sense. But that's the thing, you know, that's the difference. Like if he was in that situation, he gonna go wherever he needs to go. And you know, be the be the best. You know, a lot of these other dudes, they feel like, ah, oh, man, you know, Errol Smith Jr. is the guy over there, or Danny Garcia, or Manny Pacquiao is the guy over there, and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of intimidating for him instead of being like, well, shit, I'm, you know, I'm a grind and I'm, a, you know, take the shine when I get the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. 